Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the Fantasy Match Preview for the second T20I between Ireland and New Zealand. This preview is powered by Nostra Pro. I know you all had an amazing first game and yes, that last minute change of changing to Joshua Little on the Fantasy Crypto Telegram channel also works. So stay tuned with us there and let's get to the preview for this one. So first up the keepers and the batter, one keeper that I'm going with, Dane Cleaver. Now he didn't score too many runs in the first game, it was his debut game and like I was anticipating there were some nerves and he edged out finally. But I think with the second game he'll be more settled in and I think that these conditions, especially if he's chasing, should be good for him. Then the three batters, Martin Guptill who got off to an amazing start but then threw it away. Finn Allen who threw it away right at the start and I was expecting some movement in the first innings but again if he's chasing he becomes a great choice. And the third batter who would be Harry Tector, I know that he didn't score too many again in the last game but obviously he has been the in-form batter for the last few months now. And if George Dockwell stays in the batting section, I think he is also a decent choice because he did bowl his full quota in the last game but for now I'm going with Harry Tector. And then we look at the all-rounders and the bowlers for this one. So one all-rounder from Ireland, Curtis Camphor. He didn't bowl his full quota, but he looked good in the two overs that he bowled. And if any other Ireland bowler comes up for a tap, I am expecting him to bowl a little bit more and he bats at an important position too. Two all-rounders, Jimmy Neesham, who like I was expecting with Michael Bracewell bowling off-spin and no lefty in the Ireland batting lineup. Jimmy Neesham comes more into the game and hence he's my captain for this game, especially if he is bowling first but again that will be a choice to make at the end. Mitchell Santner would be my vice captain again. He is batting at a decent position, bowling his full quota island, not the best player to spin so I think he's a good choice. Then we look at the four bowlers, pretty standard Lockie Ferguson and Ish Sodi, both of whom bowled pretty well. Ish Sodi did get hit for a few runs but leg spin will always be a threat against any foreign team especially if it's an associate nation. And then you look at the other two bowlers, Josh Little who was my punt pick in the last game and he just blew it up with those 4 wickets and was a really really good performance. He bowled second and maybe I rotate him out. And Mark Adair who is obviously batting and bowling for his team. So he becomes a must pick for you. So this is my dream team for this game. You two go pick up your team right now on the Nostra Pro app. And remember to use the code Fantasy Preview to get 100% cash back on your first deposit. And yes, don't forget to join us on the Fantasy Click Pro Telegram channel for the final team and all the updates, all the good luck to you. And now we have the pick section for the Ireland versus New Zealand T20. Along with the fact that it helps you give the correct answers, I think it's also useful for you to hear the whole section because it helps you make some GL rotations in your final team. So simply put, for each correct answer, you get 20 points and for each negative or wrong answer, you get 8 minus points. But there's something to boost you up there. That's what we call as the boosters. So with the boosters, each correct point is going to get you double, double the points there is, yes. And each booster that you use to save yourself, so we have a negative booster as well, where in case you answer it incorrectly, you won't get minus points for that specific question. So supremely interesting concept. And now let's get to my picks for the game. So let's get to it. First question, who will score more runs between Harry Tekta and Daryl Mitchell? I think Daryl Mitchell is slightly rusty, not had too much of game time off late. So I'll go with Harry Tekta. Which batsman will score more runs from boundaries? I think between Andy Balgoni and Finn Allen, Finn Allen is a decent choice. Both of them are pretty much out of form, so it's not like you're choosing from a Royal here. But I think he's a better choice because Ireland, if, if he's chasing, he can hit more boundaries. Which bowler will pick more wickets between Josh Little and Lockie Ferguson? Lockie Ferguson pretty much always batting, bowling against a more weaker batting lineup. And no disrespect there, but yes, he has more experience, so I'll go with him. Which bowler will concede more runs between Mark Adair and Ish Sodi? I think Mark Adair because he bowls at the power play and in the depth, so he's obviously susceptible to more runs even though Isori did get hit for a few in the last game. Which bowler will have the higher bowling denominator between Craig Young and Mitchell Santner? Again, pretty similar use case to what we had in the previous question. He's again going to bowl at the start and the depth, so more susceptible. How many aggregate runs will be scored in this match? Now this is a very dicey question, especially because we saw both teams getting skittled out early. So I'll go with the middle answer here, 300 to 319. You can go with 320 or more if you feel like they're used to the condition and are going to go big. 
who will have the better batting strike rate between Garrett Delaney and Glenn Phillips. I think Glenn Phillips looked in much better touch by far, so I'll go with him. How many aggregate wickets will be lost in this match? Less than 14 or 16 or more. I think 16 or more with the fact that even if they go hard and even if they're used to the conditions, they can still lose quite a few wickets because the bowlers are also used to the conditions. Which team will add more runs for the opening stand between Ireland and New Zealand? I think New Zealand because they're going to have Finn Allen and Martin Guppel up there and even if Allen is not really getting off, even if he rotates the strike, Guppel can take on the onus. Which team will hit more boundaries between Ireland and New Zealand? I think New Zealand, again, they have the edge in terms of batting quality. So I think I'll go with them. Who will hit more fours between Sterling and Guptill? Now Sterling has not shown any form at all. Guptill is coming off 100 in the ODIs, even though I know Sterling hit that 100 in the last game. But in, for, in terms of consistency, I think Guptill is up there right now. And finally, who will win between Ireland and New Zealand? Slightly more straightforward. New Zealand, because Ireland has come so close so many times, but that finishing instinct has not come in yet. Finally, the boosters where you select a no negative if you're not sure about an answer or 2x if you're super confident that you're going to get this right. I'm going to use the no negative one that Finn Allen question 2 because I feel both Andy Balboni and Allen are out of form so it's difficult to make the right choice. And who will pick more wickets? I'm quite confident that Lockie Ferguson should be able to do so. So I'll use the 2x there. There's another set of boosters so remember to use them too and use the code fantasy preview when you make your deposit on the Nostra Pro app because you'll get a 100% cash back right there on the spot. And yes, keep in mind to join us on the Fantasy Crick Pro Telegram channel for the final teams, picks and all the updates. All the good luck to you.